right now we did not implement the variables in GraphQL so we are passing the static values so I'm gonna explode the variables get it of this query so here we need to define our variables so what I'm gonna do the first variable should be let's say GraphQL repo name and let, I'm gonna remove the name here the name should be I'm gonna copy the same name and paste it here and the second variable which is honor I'm gonna provide the dynamic value for the honor I'm gonna copy the same honor which is me and the third variable should be sales repo and the repository name is sales API cars that's it now we need to define the variables so here we need to define the variables the first variable is GraphQL make sure you must need to use the dollar sign here dollar sign GraphQL GraphQL repo and colon string because it is scalar type and I'm gonna make it to required property now it is going us the giving us the warning message GraphQL repo is never used in operation because I did not use that so I'm gonna replace that GraphQL repo incredible now I'm gonna execute the request boom everything looks good so far so we did not use the owner here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna define the owner the type is string and it is required so now I'm going to get the same warning message because you did not use honor so I'm gonna use the honor honor bam let me use the final variable is dollar sign sales repo and I'm gonna define it to the type of the sales repo is string so I'm gonna replace that here sales repo boom we also need to replace the honor honor P O W N E R honor boom so everything looks good so far I'm gonna execute the request incredible I got all the results the shortcut to execute query is command or enter bam everything looks good so far now you can provide the dynamic values let's say that react I'm, I'm not sure about this, this repository Facebook GraphQL incredible I got all the two repositories from the Facebook repository from the Facebook account incredible here we have the react uh, you can also change the name here it's like a let me change the name that react repo and here what I'm gonna do GraphQL repo BAM incredible the result is same here we have the GraphQL repo and the react repo in this way you can define the variables in GraphQL